Season 19, Holy 4000 Instructional Series Part 3. Just coming off the double back-to-back -back wins against Secret Paladin. Um, this deck really performs uh, well against Secret Paladin, considering how good Secret Paladin is. Um, <clears throat> there is no real solid, super solid direct counter. Uh, unless you build an absolutely ridiculous deck with like blood knights and stuff like that but basically there is no really hard counter to it so when you have a deck that even does relatively well you're doing something uh, we're gonna mulligan for our one two and three drops North Shore Cleric and Idis Darkbane are fine keeps now it's been asked before what do I think of the other sister and she's fine in this deck too but obviously um, Idis Dark Bane is just a little bit better than Fiola, Jola, Light Bane, because of the fact that um, dealing three damage and taking out a minion it can be just temple destructive to the enemy, whereas giving Divine Shield um, is not really as devastating, especially um, when you're dealing with classes. I don't understand that move at all that he just did. I really don't. It's like he just, I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to heal that, <laughs> draw a card, and I don't know what he was thinking with that. Now he's wasted a card, a perfectly good spell, and then on top of that, now hes uh, it's cost him... Okay, so... I think that Idas Dark Bane or Spider Tank would both be fine. Uh, we know that we won't be playing a Tinker Town Technician, even if we draw it on the next turn, because we're going to use four mana. So we absolutely want to drop the Dark Bane. There's no conceivable situation where a Spider Tank is better. Let's start here. Mm -hmm. Drop Nullifier. Since Nullifier would be the least damaging to us if he were to get a copy of it. We don't want to drop like Pilot Shredder because that then that's just huge. Um, okay. Let's drop Mech Warper, check for the... Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, now we drop... Uh, Pilot a Shredder. And go with this. So most likely he has a counter spell in play. So we need to um, just be aware of that before we decide to like commit an entire five mana to Holy Nova. That that's probably gonna be the thing that happens. Um just so lovely having um, immunity to his hero power. Very frustrating for mages. They really rely on that a lot. And spell, spell targeting as well. It's just really annoying for him. Yeah, see. And with that,
this is just a wonderful setup here because unless he has flame strike he just has no way really to deal with the power of what we put on the board and there's a very good chance he does not because a lot of most tempo decks either don't run flame strike or they only run one copy of and he's only uh he has 18 cards left in his deck so chances are very likely that he won't have it the long pause obviously because he doesn't know how to deal with uh, full reaper Now, of course, the great thing is also, <laughs> and I almost forgot this myself, I can always use Dump Silence uh, to ditch his counter spell and then go Holy Nova, which is going to be nice. This will be nice. <clears throat> yeah, there goes that. Picking up uh, the three win streak here. It's just such a nice deck to be running right now in this meta. Uh, it's just never been a more lovely time to run it. That's how you deal with the Temple Mage. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure to catch the instructional series part four coming up season 19.